out of my way. Who do you think you are? It's the toe of my boot. Come on, if you push too far, a hoot. Come on, this is the day I celebrate my birth. The seventh son of a seventh son of a son of a gun from birth. <laughs> can play the drums, is there a piper in the town? Have them put their kilts on and come right down. All ye brownie lads, whether you're poor or man of wealth, meet me in the tavern to drink my health. Who's that standing in my past? Gun clear! Uh, don't, don't you know you're face to face with Robbie McBath? Uh, Robbie McBath! Oh. Hey, you hooked him on out, out of my way. way. Who do you think you are? It's the toe of my boot. Come on, if you push too far. Uh, hooked him on. This is the day I celebrate my birth. The seventh son of a seventh son of a son of a gun from birth. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Say, Haggis. What is it, McBaggis? Have you heard the latest about McTavish? What's he done now? He's living on the roof. Why would he be living on the roof? He heard someone say the drinks are on the house. <laughs> <laughs> the drinks are on the house. You know what we... It's a little late, so good night, folks. You're a pal, not mine, but a pal. Here, Harold, sit here. Are you All kidding? Right. He takes I... the large economy size. Thanks a heap. Next week, it's my turn to wear the girdle. Why don't you entertain us a little, huh? Do your disappearing Sick act fade. Oh, I know that one. You mean the Hindu rope trick. <laughs> How does he dress in a revolving door? <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of this. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. This must be the one where they throw the rope up in the air, climb up and disappear. It's nothing. It's sort of a mass hypnosis. Where did you learn words like that? This kid was drummed out of kindergarten for cheating and finger painting. I was framed. <laughs> now watch. What else is new? Pardon me, Governor, I think this calls for me. I don't care, here, here. I'll be in the balcony. I've heard about vanishing cream, but vanishing blubber. Fight him off, Princess! Here comes Jack up the beach, Gordon. Down, boy, down, boy. How's the beast in the penthouse? Ah, Space Cadet returns. Did you get my car, Jock? Had a wonderful time. I'm glad you were here. Oh, very funny. It's easy for you to get up there. Come on, it's mass hypnosis. It's mass hypnosis. You're full of helium. <laughs> Say, how about a little black magic for me, Princess? Here's an exciting bit of hocus pocus. If a cobra comes out of there, it's yours. I'll split it with you. Oh. You pay your dues? I saw it. I saw it, and I don't believe it. <laughs> I... 
I'm starting to believe it. I... Fool I was. What a fool. In scout camp, they had basket weaving, and I took up wood burning. You wouldn't listen to me. Give me the pipe. Say, pardon me, dear. Mm -hmm. I'm going into business for myself. I'll check with you in a fortnight. Junior's always eager to improve himself, always trying to pick up something new. Say, Princess, what about you and I seeking out some leafy dell where we can discuss you in terms of me, hmm? George, I must talk to you and Harold. Oh, forget about Harold. He's a, he's a hustler, a philanderer, a roué. I want to tell you something. He ran out on a very lovely girl down in Australia. And on their wedding day, too. I think he's attractive. Can't hear you. Not reaching me at all. I think you're attractive, too. Contact. Actually, as a matter of fact, there's nothing special about me. I'm just an average, all-around, all-American boy with an excess of charm. Harold told me that, too. About me? About him. Oh, so conceited, that lad. Look, <laughs> delightful place you have here, Princess. It'd be lovely just to lay around here and grow old. George, huh? you and Harold will never grow old, unless you escape at once. Escape? My cousin, Kenner Rock, is a scheming murderer. Oh, I think he's a pretty nice guy. He's a little formal, a little cold, perhaps. You but... do not know him. He has sent many men to their death in the sea. A little physical, too, huh? Kenner Rock will let nothing stand in the way of his ambition. Years ago, my father set out for Bali to sell a chest of valuable jewels. The boat sank on a reef outside of our lagoon. Neither my father nor the jewels have ever been recovered. Oh. That's the treasure they want us to haul up out of the briny, huh? Many have tried, but none have succeeded. No wonder they offered us 50,000 guilders to get it. You must escape tonight. Oh, no, Princess. You're looking at a big guilder man. You must go, I tell you. Down in the wreck of the boat lives Bogotan. Bogotan? Oh, Bogotan, a giant squid. Well, let him live a little. The squid is a terror. He's an enormous monster with, with bone-crushing tentacles, a, a man-eater. It means certain death to the diver. Certain death to the diver, huh? Well, Harold laughs at death. We must warn him. Tell him about Bogotan. I don't know. I may have some trouble talking him out of this. He, he loves a challenge, this boy. Death is his bread, danger his butter. You've got to convince him. <laughs> I'm going to butter him up pretty good. 